वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ लेसन थ्री टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड एंड इन दिस पार्ट टू वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिंगल फैक्टरल टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड डबल फैक्टरल टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट सिंगल फैक्टोरियल टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड to overcome the limitations of commodity terms of trade professor winner developed the concept of single factorial terms of trade this concept admits the changes in the productivity of taxes involved in producing export it can be stated as ts is equal to px upon pm into zx where ts is a single factorial terms of trade Px upon Pm is commodity terms of trade, and Zx is productivity index of export sector. The single factorial terms of trade measures the amount of imports the nation gets per unit of domestic factors of production embodied in its exports. Single factorial terms of trade, for example, if ninety five upon one hundred and ten. that the productivity in our export sector rose from 100 in 2011 to 125 in 2018 then our single factorial terms of trade will be ts is equal to 95 upon 110 into 125 that is 0.8636 into 125 is equal to 107.95 here exporting country received 7.95% more imports per unit of domestic factors embodied in its export than what it received in 2011 now the limitations of single factorial terms of trade it is difficult to obtain the data to construct the productivity index it does not consider the production of production cost of imports in the import goods producing country the comparison between periods become impractical as comparison of export and import may change now let us move to the next point double factorial terms of trade to eliminate the drawbacks associated with single factorial terms of trade winner worked out double factorial terms of trade and it can be stated as td is equal to px upon pm divided by zx upon zm into 100 where td is double factorial terms of trade px upon pm is commodity terms of trade zx is export productivity index and zm is import productivity index td explains the number of units of domestic factors embodied in our exports which are exchanged for a unit of foreign factors embodied in our imports let us take the example td is equal to 95 upon 110 into 130 upon 105 into 100 so it is equal to 0.8636 into 1.2381 into 100 that is 106.92 the double factorial terms of trade are in favor of exporting country as its productive efficiency of the factors involved in exports has increased relatively to that of the factors embodied in the imports in other words we receive more units of factors of production for a given unit embodied in our export now what are the limitations it is highly difficult to construct the productivity index second it involves comparison of changes in efficiency in productivity in export and import countries next changes in productivity is less important for trading countries than the price and quantity involved in the trade now what are the factors they are affecting terms of trade that we have to discuss now number 1 changes in factor endowments availability of factors of production in a country may increase or decrease over a period of time second reciprocal demand the intensity of demand for other countries goods 
changes the terms of trade. If India's demand for goods from China is strong and increasing compared to China's demand for Indian goods, then terms of trade will be adverse to India. Next, improvement in technology. It may lead to reduction in cost of production, requirement of raw materials and other associated changes which may improve the terms of trade. Next, changes in test. Demand for goods may increase or decrease whenever the taste changes. Next, tariffs. A country imposes tariffs on its imports to influence its terms of trade in its favor as imports may decline or prices of imports may reduce by countries who exports these goods. Next, economic development. In the process of development in an economy, uh, the, in the process of development, an economy experiences dynamic changes leading to the changes in composition and direction to its trade. Next, nature of commodities. The nature and types of goods traded differ from country to country. Developed countries export mainly comprises capital goods and manufactures. Next, depreciation of currency. If a currency depreciates, exports become cheaper leading to its increase, uh, increase and imports decrease as they become costlier. So here this explanation is over. The question can be explain the factors affecting terms of trade. In this topic these are two important questions. They are like first explain the concept and measurements of terms of trade and the second is the factors they are affecting terms of trade. Students this is very important point you have to give everything single factorial uh, terms of trade, double factorial terms of trade and all the factors which affects the terms of trade here your answer will be over so here you our third topic third lesson is over thank you very much